Okay. Good evening, folks. Uh, here we are on uh, February 10th at 5.30-ish for our regular monthly light review board meeting. Um, any members of the public looking in? Caller 02 is our member, Peter Etter. Let's first go to the uh, minutes of the meeting of January 13, and I'll ask uh, if anybody has any comments, questions, or concerns about those. If not, would someone please make a motion to approve? So moved. Thank you. And a second? Go ahead. Even the author can second it. That's fine. David Martin seconds. Okay. Um, so the three of us approve, so it is approved. The last minutes. Okay. So uh, I did want to just go Mark, in. Hang on, hang on. Did we lose Peter? I don't see him on the screen anymore. Oh, where did Peter go? Good question. Good and does, uh, I guess, three of five constitutes a quorum. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so we're still good to go. We're still good. I, um, all right. Again, well, all right, we'll move along. Uh, so I did want to report that we uh, have issued a number of notices of determination of blight, as we discussed in that last meeting. Um, I can't relate those uh, addresses to the numbers, but we issued four of them. Um, it was... It was um... 16-001. Okay. 17-011. Okay. 17-019. Um, you know what? How many were there? There were four, correct? Yeah, there were four. Uh, two on West Avenue, one on Camp. Well, I'm, yeah. looking, I'm looking at the report now. Notices issued were 16001. 17011, 17019, 18005, and 2001. Right, so there were five. Oh, there was a fifth. Okay. According to your report, there were. Yes, good. okay. Okay, good. So with the help of counsel and Mr. Salito, those uh, were prepared uh, with notices uh, that fines would begin and uh, with an opportunity to contact us. Uh, Mr. Salito, have you heard from any of the recipients? I received an email. I, I think I emailed, sent it to you a copy okay. from 18-005. Uh, uh, okay. And uh, I don't know if you want to go into that now or wait for my report. Yeah, why don't we wait for your report? Uh, that's the email I saw it yesterday? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. Uh, so, with that accomplished, I think we can move then to your report, Mr. Zolito. Okay, we... very, very good. Uh, it's going to be very simple this week uh, because of snow cover. There uh -huh. really wasn't much that could be done, or if it was done, I couldn't be seen because it was all under snow. Okay. Uh, we'll start with the first one, 16-001. There were uh, the other day. There were really no changes uh, seen in that. I'm sorry. Let me get my uh, screen back here. No changes there, but we really didn't expect that at all. Uh, hey, so we're just go on, Bob. Let me just. Did we get a new uh, report from you or George? You? Can you, George? Can you let me back in now on the computer by any chance? Wow. Okay. Uh, if you. Promise to behave. I will do that. <laughs> and if I can figure out how to do that. Uh, participants. Uh, I don't. Uh, meeting is unlocked, so I don't know why you are being prevented. You're just on the on the phone again, uh, Peter. I I see myself. Uh, on the screen, and I'm on the phone. Yep, and it says waiting for George Riley. So maybe he has the wrong number, also. That's never a good thing when you're waiting for me. Um, All right, let it let it go, and I'll just do it on the phone. No problem. Yeah, sir, I don't. <laughs> I'm not uh, fancy enough to know how to let you in. I don't see any opportunity to do that here. 
Okay, don't worry about it. Uh, man. George? Yes, David. George, before we move on uh, with uh, regards to the uh, determinations of blight that were issues, issued, is there a specific date as of which the fines begin or began to accrue? Yeah, I think we uh, stated that in the letters. Let me get one of them in front of me. And I believe it was 30 days right. on the receipt. Uh, no, no. Okay. Um, so I should, yeah, so we said that failure to take corrective action would result in automatic citation being issued against you, which citation will carry a penalty of $100 per day for each day the blight continues to exist. The penalty shall begin to accrue on the 31st day after the date of the notice. I believe they were all noticed on January 27, 21. So they have 31 days following that day. Perfect, thank you. Uh, uh, Bob, I was asking you, uh, did we get a new report from you or are we going on an old report? No, I did send one um, about uh, an hour ago. But uh, if you don't have it, there's no, not much that's changed. <laughs> okay. the only, yeah, the only thing that's noted was that we had sent the, uh, the notices were sent out to the ones that were uh, going. And uh, the fact that there were no changes noted. <laughs> Okay. Uh, in, in any well, what about what about seventeen oh oh five? Yes, seventeen oh oh five. That was uh, he is. Hold on, that one is. Yeah, he's actually made improvements even from the last time. He cleaned out the driveway seventeen zero zero five. Cleaned out the driveway and all of the stumps that were littered uh, across the uh, south side of the lawn. They've all been chopped and stacked neatly. Uh, into firewood, so it's actually it's pretty tidy, pretty orderly. Uh, I think we should just keep keep an eye on that one, but I don't think there's really any need to pursue uh, any action at this point. He's been uh, once he got going with it, he's been pretty good with uh, with keep it, keeping it going. Good. Did you notice something in particular, Michael? No, I, had, I just noticed on the, on the I'm reading the report. Ah, it just said owner, owner in contact with this office yes. abatement of violations. So I just wanted to know what that looked like. Sure. Yes. Sure. Yeah. It it looks pretty good. If you get a chance to drive by, you'll see, uh, you'll see that a lot of the stuff is gone. Ninety percent of the items that were there are gone. Good. Okay. Bob, the report. Bob, the report you sent uh, is dated one thirteen twenty twenty one. Uh. I did not find an email from you, Bob, with the new report. Hmm. I got it from I got it from him before this meeting sometime. I don't know. I can look and see what time it came through. Then but these are all, you know, date of last inspection on this report are all yesterday. So yeah, yes. current. That's that's the current one. And the the uh, title should say blight report for two ten twenty twenty one. Yeah. I received it from yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm sorry. I do see at the top of the heading. I didn't change it. It says one thirteen twenty twenty one. That 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 was a right, mistake. Right, part. right. It is the updated. Okay. Very well, good. Okay. All right. Good. Um, all right. And I see. I, I just by prompting my machine here, I did. I do now have it. So we're good. Okay. Uh, so, well, sixteen oh one. There were no changes, but we really didn't expect any changes with that one anyway. That oh. was the first one. Seventeen oh five. We just went through. Yeah, seventeen dash zero one one. No, again, he uh, no changes seen. He hasn't been in touch with uh, with me. I know that sometimes he calls or talks to Ali, but he hasn't he hasn't reached out to me yet or or returned any uh, emails or anything that I've sent him. That's seventeen dash zero zero one. Zero one one. I'm sorry. It's Seventeen okay. zero one one. Yeah, I have not heard from him um, in some time since the last time I reached out to him a couple months ago. Okay. Uh, the next team, next one. Seventeen dash zero one nine. That's again, no no changes there, and received the third complaint about that particular property from the same gentleman that's been sending them through Q Alert. 
Um, okay. So there's still yeah. there's still an issue there. But again, that one is uh, notices have been issued for that one as well. By the way, um, uh, uh, let me just ask: um, all of these notices were sent by certified mail. Have you gotten green cards back? No green cards as of yet. There was a a mail uh, a mail room mistake. Not ours, the towns, but the corporate. Uh, the, the corporate mail people that do ours, they actually sent me back a green card at the same time I got the receipt and the green card <laughs> didn't have any signature on it. So as soon as I got this back, I resent the notice wow. again, uh, certified. Um, so that one might be a little delayed in getting to the certified mail, might be a little delayed in getting to that particular owner, but we'll keep eyes on that. But they all went certified, yes. That was just one of the five, the other four, no issue. Correct. But yes, we haven't gotten correct. any signature back from any of them, huh? From the 27th? Uh, nothing other than this next one that we're going to speak with, speak about 18-005. Okay. Uh, that was the one I had sent you uh, a copy of his email, basically saying that he filled the dumpster <laughs> with the debris I don't understand why he's, what else do I have to do? So I, I sent him a, a, a reply email, basically restating all of the violations that were listed and that, you know, you're responsible for doing all of that. Uh, but he did respond back to me. Right. I don't know whether it was he's responding back for the one sent via marshal service or the one sent be a certified mail, but he did call, acknowledged that he in one way got the uh, got the notice. Okay. Uh, the, right, and so that they, were, was, they were sent both ways, both by marshal and by mail, certified mail? Correct. Correct. Oh, yes. Have we seen any marshal's returns yet? No, no, nothing from nothing from the uh uh Bobby, Bernie. Oh. So today's the 10th. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just about two weeks. Well, okay. Um, yes. Okay. And 20-001. Um, let's see. Uh, status is the same there. No changes. No one's going to the rear of that house to re-secure the property, re-board it up, or do anything to shore up the... Uh, the conditions on the back of the house uh, and no notice, nothing, haven't heard from them at all. Um, the last one that's here wasn't really, uh, it, it's a, it's in green. There was just a warning sent out and the property continues to improve. The owner has been in touch with the tenant and he's still, uh, you know, cleaning things up uh, as we go along. The snow's going to hinder it, but there was some progress. So that one will continue to uh, to monitor uh, uh, under the warning, but I don't think there's anything more we need to do there at this time. Good. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's, that's uh, it. Yes. Then those are the properties uh, requiring your attention. Good. All right, then we move to uh, other business. And does anyone have any other properties they want to suggest or any other topic to discuss? I wanted to just let you guys know that Gina Blum from, she's the director of At Home and Darien, reached out to me today. They have some volunteers who are willing to help seniors with any spring like cleanups. So if there's anyone on our list, um, I'm happy to reach out to them if we decide that that would be a good resource for them. Sounds like a great uh, out, out organization. At home in Darien. They have some volunteers who offered. Oh. Sorry, you're uh, coming home, in. Sorry, yeah. I just didn't quite. Yeah, so Gina Blum, the executive director, reached out to me um, offering some volunteer services for seniors if it's needed. Well, it might be a good help for 17 11. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If it, yes. Yeah, I know, absolutely. Um, that, yeah, or even 66 Raymond, if she's, I'm sorry, Oops. I didn't say that. 17, <laughs> <I understand. laughs> 17 that was. I don't know if she's a senior, but yeah. Uh, oh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, but there's potential. Yes. Uh, 
All right, that's a good. I'd be a great resource. Good of them to offer. Uh, Absolutely. Yes. When the snow's gone and it warms up some, we should mm. follow it up. Okay. Anything else? All right. Well. Uh, I'll just mention quickly. Oh at yeah. Our, at one of our yeah. meetings, at one of our meetings, we had discussed, you know, if we have, uh, uh, you know, difficult situations once we, you know, uh, uh, assess the lien on a property, what next? Right. What comes next? So I touched base with Kathy Larkins, the tax collector, uh, because I felt like the uh, liens were akin to delinquent property tax in the sense that they were an obligation uh, to the municipality. Uh, she outlined for me the procedures that uh, they would use uh, in the uh, unlikely event that they would have to. She did say that they've never had to uh, actually force a next step that eventually folks have uh, uh, paid up or they've been settled up at the sale of the property. Uh, I was also in touch with the gentleman, uh, Joseph Strickland, who runs the uh, Blight Review uh, Board for Westport to find out about uh, their uh, practices. And their ordinance reads very, very close to ours, and their practices are almost identical to ours. They, uh, he told me that in their history, they have not ever had a situation that uh, had had to go to the what next phase. Uh, they had one situation where they got paid at the closing when the property was sold. So there are other. That, that's kind of what I always expected to be the, the last stage. I think, the, uh, yeah, I think there are there there in in talking uh, uh, to Kathy, uh, there are steps that might be available to us uh, when and if we get there. Uh, but she did give me some insight into uh, the market value of our uh, chronic uh, uh, property. And uh, we're still pretty far away, so it's not anything we're going to need to uh, be concerned with in the near term. No, yeah, except we hope the property owner is because it is accruing at a uh, hundred dollars a day every day. Uh, we would we would uh, like that. I I I would I would suggest on on my behalf as a single member of the board that I'm willing to. Uh, work with the property owner to reach an amicable uh, settlement uh, if uh, if uh, they so choose. Fair enough. That's good. Um, we'll see if he reaches out. I think somebody just pulled in the driveway. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that's good information because we ought to know. I think you did also indicate that uh, because the amount of the lien is uh, uh, ever growing, that and, and it's not a finite number, maybe the tax folks thought that uh, it may be necessary to go through a foreclosure process uh, to uh, get judgment of foreclosure and uh, to stop it at that in that process. Uh, yeah, that was one of the items that I talked about with Kathy. Yeah, okay. So we have those alternatives, uh, and I think they're good to be aware of. So uh, we'll see how they play out in the future. All right. Yeah, thanks, David, for taking the time to pursue that. All right. Um, nothing else on anyone's mind then? All right. Well, before we close, yes, before we close up. Um, yeah, Peter. I just would like to publicly uh, thank Ali and all of the folks at Human Services for the extraordinary job they're doing uh, coordinating, coordinating the vaccine program for us seniors. It's, it, it is so well done, and we know how busy she is, and we greatly appreciate it. Yes, she has been a great resource. I know that. I know that. We are grateful. It's the whole team. It's the whole team, health and human services. I don't want to take credit. But thank you, Peter. <laughs> the little halo is coming is the whole team. Yes, the little halo. Yeah, it should. Hard earned. Yeah, Hard earned. under my eyes. <laughs> Very nice. So it's important, and, uh, and everybody should know that uh, the vaccines are available at least twice a week, right? 
those days when? Yes. That's right. 65, yep. 65 and over now. 65 and over. Yep, 65, 65 and older, and uh, you know, a bunch of 65 uh, folks have uh, availed themselves of it. So if you fall in that category, contact uh, Health and Human Services and get your name on the list. I've never been so. First time I wish. First time I wished I was older. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. Really yes, normally we're not wishing. <laughs> normally we're not wishing to be older, but you know, sometimes. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Well, there's our public service well, I, for the day. I I expected to be shot once I got to eighty, but never in this fashion. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we'll have to learn more about that <laughs> offline. <laughs> Michael moved to adjourn, and David seconded it, and uh, it was unanimously right. approved. And we are adjourned. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.